Hello, I hope you're well. It's been a very slow day at the asylum today, not many visitors, but I've just had some good news. There has been another beta branch update for Phasmo, so let's hop into the patch notes and see what's going on. Alrighty, so first of all, bug fixes. I won't go over them because there's quite a lot and they are quite specific, but I'll link the patch notes if you want to check them out. There's quite a few bug fixes. So now let's get to the juicy parts, the changes. Number one, the crucifix will now have a visual change with each use instead of disappearing with its final use. Honestly, I'm not a fan of that because I think it makes it a bit easier. If anything, I want more difficulty. I don't want things to be easier. Um, I feel like as soon as you see the first use getting used up, you're just going to leave instantly and you'll be completely safe. Part of the fun, from my experience, was watching the crucifix disappear and then it being very tense and not knowing if you were going to make it out or not before the hunt started. I thought that really added to the atmosphere, but I feel like it's going to be far too easy just to see um, one use get used up and then boom, you've gone. No hunt. In my opinion, I would love it if the crucifix got nerfed a bit. Maybe if it only prevented one hunt and then it disappeared. Number two, in terms of changes, the photo reward values now use a quality level which is based on the distance you took the photo rather than the reward being random. This quality level was shown in the journal. That's amazing. That's something I've been asking for and talking about for quite a long time now. So it was always a stinker when you got some amazing photos and because the old photo um, mechanic was based on RNG, how much money you've got, it was always disappointing when you didn't get rewarded for them. So I can't wait to have a play around with that. That's great. So I guess get a photo of the ghost up close. It's worth a lot. Get one from far away. It won't be worth as much, will it? Yeah, I do love that change. Looking forward to testing. Um, number three for changes. Each player will now have a unique colour on the minimap and sanity monitor. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. Little cool quality of life change. Help identify people easier. Especially if you're playing with randoms, I suppose. But I guess during hunts, when you can't really communicate, um, you'll be able to tell who's who. Yeah, that's cool. Um, number four. To fix some graphical issues with VR, the rendering path has been changed from deferred to forward rendering. Oh, okay. I don't really know exactly what that means. I'll do my research. This may have a big impact on performance, so please let me know what the effect is in the VR troubleshooting channel. Okay, kind of gone over my head, but I'll do my research. Hopefully a good change anyway. Right, on to the new section. So, number one, the ghost will now have a chance to blow out candles if they're close enough and the room lights are off. A lot of people um, were telling me they've had that happen already. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they were getting um, confused with it burning out. So the ghosts can now blow out candles. Interesting. So if they are close and the room lights are off. Oh, how terrifying is that going to be? I wonder if you like, can you imagine if, I, if you like um, hear them whispering or like breathing and then it goes out? That would be terrifying. Yeah, looking forward to having that happen to me. So number two, they've added five new objectives. Oh, okay. Interesting. Let's see what they are. Detect a ghost presence with a candle. I imagine um, have them blow it out. Detect? That's an interesting word. Yeah, I guess they mean have the ghost blow it out. Um, detect ghost footsteps with a parabolic mic during a hunt. Hmm, okay. I don't really like objectives that just force you to bring in an item for the sake of just using an item. It doesn't feel like a very creative objective in my opinion. Um, intermediate and professional. Escape the ghost during a hunt with no deaths. Okay, yeah, that I, I like that. That's more gameplay orientated. That's the type of objective I love to see. That's much better than the parabolic one. Because now you've just got to bring in a parabolic microphone for the sake of bringing in a parabolic microphone to get a footstep during a hunt. It, it's a bit long-winded, isn't it? It doesn't really tie in with the gameplay. You have no gameplay reason to use a parabolic microphone during a hunt. So I just think that is such a strange objective. Professional. Use a smudge stick when the ghost is hunting a player. Okay, I hope that actually means repel the ghost with the smudge stick. Because again, if it just means light a smudge stick during a hunt, no matter where you are, that's a, a little bit random again. I'm hoping that means repel the ghost with the smudge stick. I'll do some testing. On multiplayer, 
get an average sanity of below 25%. Again, that could be tedious as hell. Um, if you have a... Some missions are so fast. You do all your objectives, you get all your evidence really, really quick. Um, and then you're just going to be stood around twid twiddling your thumbs waiting to get 25% sanity. Meanwhile, you'll get chain hunted. That doesn't sound like a very fun one, in my opinion. I have to say, the only one I like from that is, um... Escape the ghost during a hunt with no deaths, because that ties into the gameplay perfectly. Use, use a smudge stick could work if it means actually repel the ghost, don't just light one randomly. The parabolic one I really don't like, that's really just long-winded. Detect a ghost presence with a candle, okay. I kind of like that one as well, because that's about finding the ghost. That's kind of another way to find the ghost. So that's kind of cool, that one. I like that one. And the sanity one, like I said, maybe it'll get tedious if you do the mission really quick. If you have no Ouija board to quickly drain sanity, you will literally just be stood there waiting to do this. So I guess some missions will be different and you might you might um, hit 25% quite quickly. Like if you have a particularly active ghost, for example. Say if you get a phantom that's manifesting a lot, then you might just do it by chance. Um, but if you're forced to wait there to hit 25, then I don't think that could be fun in some scenarios. Okay, also for new, they've added support for B-Haptics, tact suits and face covers. Interesting. How many people own them though? <laughs> Certainly not myself. Full implementation will be a gradual process over time. However, the majority of haptics are in. Okay, that's that's very interesting. Very interesting, but I, I that probably won't cater, cater to many people, will it? Still, very interesting change. So number four, with the VR change to forward rendering, it, rendering, MSAA can be now used with VR and will default to four times. Ah, okay, so anti-aliasing settings, basically. Ah, okay, fair enough. So there you go. Um, the main changes for this update. The crucifix now has a visual update after preventing one hunt. So you will know in advance um, before the crucifix disappears. The one I love the most, the photos now reward more based on your quality. So basically how close you are, it seems. I'll do some testing. Each player will now have a unique colour on the map and sanity monitor. Cool. Quality of life feature. Five new objectives, some of which I do like, some I really don't. And the ghosts can now blow out candles if they're close enough and the lights are off. I like that. I'm going to start using candles more to find the ghost. That sounds really interesting. So there you go. Some interesting changes overall. Looking forward to trying out some of them anyway. Yeah. What's your favourite update? Do let From this update, what's your favourite um, little new change or quality of life feature, I suppose? Yeah, do let me know down in the comments. I'll try and link the patch notes in the description as well so you can check out all those bug fixes if um, you want to read them in your own time. Alright guys, enjoy the updates anyway. Take care of yourselves and I will catch you soon. See ya.